Hi all. In this video, let's learn about most commonly asked JavaScript interview question. That is difference between splice and slice in detail. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. So firstly, the first difference is so let's take an array here. So we have an array with one, two, three, and I'm keeping the splice. Okay. What does this? This splice and slice or array methods. We use these methods to extract some certain elements to select some elements from the array or to remove some elements from an array, we use these methods. But how different they are. So let's see that with examples. This is an array. You are applying splice and two. Okay. What does it mean? The main first difference is splice will modify the virtual array. It will modify the virtual array. Now, if you apply splice of two, the array index starts with zero. Now, zero, one, two from the second index all the elements should be removed and it is going to return back the removed items so that's the reason in the first console you got whatever the items removed in the second console you got one and two these are the elements left over in this array if you observe the original array is modified in this case the same case let's see the difference between the slice here so whenever if you compare with the slice see the removed items are same so from the zeroth from second index all these removed items will come in an array like this but the second console if you see you got each and every element it means the original array is not modified so this is the first difference we need to understand now that how how can uh, we remember that is see splice means sp so this is how i, I used to remember sp means splitting the virtual array so that's the reason splice means splitting the virtual array, whereas slice means you're not modifying the virtual array. So this is how you can remember uh, the first difference. So coming to the syntactical difference. So let's learn about the syntactical difference. So whereas to the slice, slice has only two arguments, not more than two arguments. And the first argument is starting index. And the second argument is ending index. Here it is very much important. The second argument is ending index. Okay, it has only two arguments. Whereas coming to the splice, it, it can have n number of arguments. And the first argument represents the starting index. And the second argument represents the number of items to be removed. It's not the index, it's number of the items to be removed. That would be the third difference. Yes, for now. The diff second difference is it, it can have only two arguments, but it can have a number of arguments. Okay. And now the third difference is here, this second argument represents the index. Okay. Whereas here, the third argument, second argument represents the number of items. So that is the difference. So now let's understand what is its difference and uh, step by step we'll learn everything. Okay. Now, let me uncomment this. So I'm using splice. So let me use this from beginning. So I will use normal ones. So I will use two and comma one. So second parameter I'm using now set the second parameter that is one. So if you indicate something like this, it means from the second index, okay? From second index, you want to remove one item. So zero, one, two. From here, you want to remove one item. So one here, Second argument represents number of items to be removed. So now one represents how many items to be removed from the zeroth index. So eight would be removed. Okay. And in the virginal array, as it impacts the original array, now you can see the virginal array six, seven, nine, zero. Clear? Now, if you mention zero here, how many items to be removed? If you mention it as zero, no element would be removed. So that's the reason you will be getting as zero. So the starting index is two, zero, one, two you'll be getting eight here. The selected item is eight, but you don't want to remove any of the item. So that's the reason empty uh, elements would be written and original array would be the same item, okay? Now, if I mention one, and if I mention comma j js. So now what happens is from second index, you want to remove one item. Starting from the second index, you want to remove one item. And from there, you want to add this js as well so that's the reason at this location and this index js is added clear so if you and the third parameter is to add the items first parameter represents the starting index second parameter represents how many items to be removed and from here how many items you mention that would be added so like uh, you say 
whatever the items you mentioned so those would be added from the second index from the second index this eight would be removed and all these elements would be added clear now let's understand few more points coming here so these are some of the interesting points if you mention the first argument okay let me comment this now let's learn some important interesting points here so if you mention and uh, the first argument as a nan it is a not a number so then that is treated as a zero whatever the number you mention as a first argument which has not a number which is not a number the starting index is not a number then it is automatically taken as a zero as a starting index it will not throw any error if you mention any of the not a number value it's a first parameter it would be taken as a zero so that's the reason it is taken as zero and you are asking four elements to be removed so that's the reason from zero eighth index zero one two three and four four elements were removed so you can see four elements are removed and from this index okay this item is added so that's the reason and the fourth index it is added along with the 21 clear the original array is modified so if the first argument is nan then it is considered as a zero by default it will not provide any error clear coming to the second scenario like if if you have the argument the second argument as zero or nan less than zero or nan if you it means here if you are mentioning what you hear you need to mention you need to mention how many items to be removed okay now if you mention less than zero value like minus five okay it means no element would be removed because how many elements you want to remove minus five elements it means it is less than zero so no element would be removed so everything would be like that only in the place of two from starting the index two hello would be added so 26 21 it means 0 1 and 2 at the index of 2 this hello would be added and the rest of the elements would be adjusted like this and no element is removed the reason behind this is if the second argument is less than 0 or even if it is a nan okay then it will not throw any error for us it is considered as a zero clear everyone it would be considered as a zero for us okay now oh okay it is considered as a zero for us now if you take the third one so the third scenario is like if you see the argument one and the argument two if you see if the argument one or the argument two is greater than the array index length okay then it is considered for example let me uncomment this first i'll comment this you have five elements in this array and now you are mentioning the first argument as 23 which is greater than the array length now what happens this 23 it will not be taken only the array length would be replaced here so even now if you give as a argument one whatever the number you give the largest number and if it is greater than the array index array index would be set as a starting index so it means the array index would be set at the last element okay now from the last element you want to remove three items okay from the last element you you don't have any items to be removed so that's the reason nothing would be removed here and from the last item the add me would be added at the last index the reason behind this is the starting index you have provided the array size more than the array size okay that's the reason this item would be set as the array length clear and now coming to the if the second argument is given as a more array index then this is considered as a like a array array length only so for example from two zero one two from this index you need to remove how many elements you need to remove actually you have only three elements but you are mentioning 34 elements now this end array length value would be set here so those many elements would be removed don't think that it will be providing any of the or removing the items okay it would do that fine so now let's comment all these things so we have discussed all the points related to the splice so before discussing about the negative index so you need to understand something like this if you have an array like this if you mention the starting index with 0 1 2 3 it would be taken from the array starting position clear but if you mention a negative numbers it would be taken from the negative from end of the array it would be taken from the end of the array so that is what going to happen now let's understand few points related to the splice slice sorry okay related to the slice let me have this okay i will take one of the array here i will copy this array let me do the slice 
So I will uncomment this. There is a difference between using the slice and splice. So we need to understand that. So whenever I represent this with a two, so what happens? So this is the same. What happens from the zero, one, two, from the second index, you want to remove every each and every element because if you not mention the second index, that is the ending index, the ending index would be taken as the end of the items, clear? And now I will be taking the same item. I will give the second parameter as four. It means from zero eighth index till fourth index, you need to remove the items. It means zero, one, two from the starting index is two. Okay, and till fourth index, it is not number of items to be removed. Four is not four items to be removed. Four is the index here. So this is the third difference between the splice and the slice. Here, if you observe here, it would be the count, the count of the elements, how many elements to be removed, number of elements, the count, but here it is an ending index. So four is an ending index here. So from starting position is two, till four, not the fourth item. So it is zero, one, two, from two, three, only 33, 34 items would be removed because 35 is the fourth index. It would not be removed. So that's the reason 33, 34 would be removed from the array. Okay, now if I mention this as one and five, so one comma five. So now starting index is zero, one. From here, you want to remove till the index five. So up to five, not fifth index, up to five means all these four items would be removed. So that is what we are getting. The removed items we are getting like this, fine. So now if I mention the negative numbers, if I say minus two, so before I say minus two here, let's understand what is the meaning of minus two for the splice as well. So let's go back here. So I will uncomment this, I will mention this. So I will mention this as minus two. What happens if I mention this as minus two? So if I say minus two, the index starts from the right side, right? So minus one, minus two. From here, how many elements I need to remove till the end of the array? Okay, if you not mention the second second uh, argument, it will remove four and five. So that's the reason four and five were removed from the array. This is the meaning of minus two here. Okay, if you mention minus two comma one, what it means, so from the index, so minus one, minus two from this index, starting index is this, and you want to remove only one item. So that's the reason four was removed, clear? Now let's see the same negative things in the splice. That will work in a different way. So let's see that. So here you have minus two, and you are not mentioning the ending index. If you say minus two, okay, this as a minus two, what happens? The index is minus one, minus two. From here, the minus two, will be picked until end it would be taken and it would be removing items. So this is fine. If you not mention the second argument, that is fine. If you mention the second argument, so let me mention the second argument, minus two comma minus one. If I say minus two comma minus one, you'll be getting four because the starting index is minus one minus two. So this is the starting index and the ending, ending index is minus one. So that's the reason four would be deleted. Only four would be deleted here. If you mention any of the positive items here, positive numbers here, see, you'll be getting empty record because what is the starting index? Minus one. So minus one means minus two means minus one minus two. So this is the starting index. What is the ending index? It is one. So this is the ending, ending index, but this is the starting index. So the array removal will go in left to right like this as one index is not available from here. This is the starting index. It, it, it means you want to remove the items from this element, but the ending the index is given here. So that's the reason you can't able to remove any of the items, even you mention one as well. So this is the main thing we need to understand. So that's the reason you'll be getting as empty here. So hope uh, I'm clear at this point. If you mention the empty array like this, so empty, so you'll be getting entire elements. You'll be that would be written back in entire empty things here. So these are the negative things you need to observe. The third in the difference is very much important related to minus one, minus two here. If I mention it as minus one, comma one. So this is uh, mostly asked the interview questions also. You, you Most of the times, everyone used to ask this interview question. See, in the splice, if you mention minus two, from here, one item would be removed. 
whereas from here it is empty removed because this is a starting index and this is a ending index ending index is here but it goes as it is starting index it goes from left to right it can't able to remove any of the items that's the reason you got it it as empty so the same interesting points also will be available for the slides as well so let's see those interesting item uh, points those are for example if the first argument okay it is nan okay let me uncomment these points if the first argument is nan so then that is treated as zero so the same thing whatever we have uh, for the splice, the same thing also applies for here as well. Clear? That is one point. That's it. And also the second point is like if the array index is greater than 23 like this, if you keep 23 like this, so it would be like the starting index is 23. So do you have the 23 index? No. So that's the reason the starting index is out of bound. So nothing would be written back here. Whereas in the splice, this 23, it becomes a length of the array. Clear? Length of the array. But here also the same thing happens, clear? Now, uh, ho I hope I have discussed all the points related to the splice and the slides. And the main point I want to focus is this point again and again. Most of the cases, most of them would be confused with the splice with the negative here. The second argument is the number of items with the splice. And here for the slides, it is the ending index. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.